So we are going to use the Rigify add-on to rig the character. This add-on is free and I invite you to activate it on the edit menu, preference, add-on, set rigified and enable it. Back to the scene in object mode, shift A to add an element, armature, human, metric. If it look bigger or had a different size, just rescale it at the size of the model. Also in object property, viewport display, show, check in front to be able to see the rig through the model. Adjust the height of the rig and set it inside of the model. Remember to switch views when you need it. Here are some shortcuts. Now let's go to edit mode to place properly the bones. Before that, be sure to activate the symmetry for an easier process. I usually start with the legs. At this stage, I mainly work by selecting either one bone or a group of bones at the time, and the goal is to place them accordingly to the model. Just be careful between selecting the tip of the bone and the whole bone, because the transformation will act differently. And to conceal the bone selection, just simply click somewhere in the scene. If you're not sure, just watch me carefully. Let's get rid of the facial bones. It's not necessary to see that in today's lesson because we already have a lot to do with the skeleton. So in the side view, select all the facial bones, then hold shift to select manually both sides of the ear bones, then press X to delete them. But we have a last bone to delete, which is inside of the big head bones. Toggle in X-ray view to see it. Now select the bone inside of it and delete it. Now the last part is to place correctly the arm, the hand and the fingers. So to not confuse myself, I'm going to hide the unnecessary bones by selecting them and hide them by pressing H. I'm also going to change few settings from here. My transform orientation from global to normal my transform pivot point from median point to active element and also activate the display of the gizmo move rotate scale being in normal help me to see the orientation of the bones and also constrain all my transformation depending on it for the pivot point into active element it helped me to be sure that the last bone selected is the pivot one Watch me for now to have a clear idea of the process, and then try it. As long as the bones are correctly placed with the joints, you're good. Don't hesitate to orientate your view to manipulate efficiently the bones. With a selection group of the hand bones, I make sure the wrist joint is located at the right place. Notice that I'm always moving around the hand to be sure the bones follow the structure of it. For the finger bones, I roughly place each of them on their respective axis. And by selecting from the tip of the finger till the knuckle, I'm able to rotate the finger inside the mesh. And remember to use the numpad period to center your view to the current selection. Then when every hand bones are well placed inside the mesh, you can make some last adjustments. When you're done, Alt H to unhide the bones. Back to object mode, select the rig, Ctrl A to apply all the transformation. Do the same thing as well for the 3D model. Mine has clothes on it, but your one supposed to be naked. Select the rig, then in object data property, rigify buttons, select generic rig. A bunch of controllers will appear wrapping the 3D model. If you have the same setup as me, you're good. Now in the layer window, you can hide the meta rig. Select your model, shift click select the rig, Ctrl P to parent, armature to deform with automatic weight. It should take few seconds to proceed. Then select the rig, switch to pose mode and play with the controllers. 
I cross my fingers that you get the same thing as me. If you do, congratulations. The rig seems a bit complex, but it's pretty much easy to use. Also, you might encounter a deformation problem when rotating the head. It's not a big deal, don't worry, it's fixable, but I will keep it for another video. For now, it shouldn't be that much annoying. However, the rig is set on IK with the red controllers. To switch to FK with the green controllers, you have to select the item tab on the side of the viewport. Select each green circle like I do and slide the setting that I'm showing you from IK to FK. It will disable the IK controllers for enable the FK. The behavior of the rig will be different, so feel free to choose which one you prefer. So yeah, this is all I can tell you about how I rig my characters. You can use the same technique to rig whatever character you want. It's clearly not an easy topic to teach, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.